Let's have a look today at assembly of the leading edge gridomatic articulated arm for sharpening systems and the arm can use uh, LED floodlights or GoPro cameras or anything really that can fit into a uh, cold shoe mount. The example we have here today, switch on the light, is uh, a TS Prof Cadet Pro system. So lock the light in position and put it exactly where you want it. So you can have a good view of your sharpening, view the burr properly forming and see exactly that you're apexing your edge. Having a little floodlight helps a lot. Now for uh, assembly, I won't be assembling a standard black color as sold by Chromatic. The standard color sold on the website is black. But just for the purposes of the camera and lighting, I'm going to be assembling a gray color articulated arm. So you'll receive the articulated arm in uh, different pieces, either with or without the light. One or two lights, whichever you prefer arm itself or the light and the arms depending on what option you purchase. There's a cold shoe mount, quarter inch standard cold shoe, standard camera type size thumb wheel or thumb nut, the uh, end camera or floodlight mount also with a quarter inch thread and you'll have thumb screws for the hinges and three additional larger nuts also for the twisting mechanism of the articulated arm. Let's start assembling it from the back, the part that goes into the sharpeners. We have different brackets for various sharpeners, be it TS Prof Cadet, Blitz, Hapstone, Leading Edge System, Workshop, Precision Adjust. Uh, we have KME, we have various different systems and we'll be releasing more and more systems as we go along. So this part of every articulated arm goes into the adapter for your sharpener. The adapters are also sold separately. Let's start off by installing the first part of the articulated arm. You'll see this is a two-prong, three-prong hole. Slot it in position. Take one of your thumb screws into the hole, thread it in just lightly. Also going to be taking another thumb screw, round one at the bottom, which will be your locking nut on your sharpener itself. Once you've turned it into position, you will lock it with the bottom nut. Same thing with the uh, twist part of the articulated arm. So next step, <clears throat> I'll use another one of these round nuts, thread it onto the arm. And now I'll use either one of the other pieces that you want to thread onto the extension of the articulated arm. So as you see here, this can be twisted into position and then locked into position with the locking nut to wherever you want it. Now I'll install the next part of it, another thumb wheel or thumb nut, lock that lightly, install another one of the nuts on the last part of the articulated arm, thread that in. line it up wherever I want it and snug up the nut. And the very last part is the part with the standard quarter inch thread for cameras, cold shoe mounts directly into lights or via the cold shoe mount itself. We'll pop that in position, install the last thumb screw. And now I'll put the quarter inch locking nut Thread that into position. And lastly, the cold shoe mount itself. We'll thread that into position. 
Again, this will be turned to wherever you want it and then locked into position with its own nut. So as you can see here, this part will go into the sharpener. This end part obviously will go into your light camera or microscope or whatever you want. I've got a small camera, a small LED light mounted on this here. So you'll have the hinges there, here, here to put it into whatever position you prefer. And then you also have the center sections of the arm that you can release, twist into whatever position you want, and lock those in position as well. Same thing here, twist that into wherever I want it, and lock it into position. Same thing goes for the last part onto the sharpener. Once you have it installed on your sharpener, you can also twist it into position wherever you want the light and then simply lock it into position. Removal of the uh, light or a camera or microscope, it's pretty easy. You just release the cold shoe locking nut from your light itself. Replace another light. Lock it in. Twist it into position wherever you want it and lock it where you want. And that is the leading edge articulated arm and light system for just about every sharpener on the market today.